uh, to 2D websites, you could transport yourself entirely uh, to a whole other place and feel like you were really there in reality. And since then, I've been interested in this idea of virtual reality, and I've been waiting for the day to come when we can deliver this experience. Now today, thanks to this partnership between Samsung and Facebook, this is now possible, and that day is here. And it wouldn't be possible to deliver this experience at this scale and this price without Samsung's experience and excellence in hardware and systems, and all of Facebook's experience delivering software, and of course with Oculus technology. At Facebook, we think about giving people richer and richer tools for sharing and experiencing everything that they want in the world. You know, going back about 10 years, most of what we shared and experienced uh, was text. And then it was photos. And now we're entering into a world where that's video. But pretty soon, we're going to live in a world uh, where everyone has the power to share and experience whole scenes as if you're just there, right there in person. You know, I, I think about my, my baby daughter and the way that I want to remember uh, when she takes her first steps. When I took my first steps, my parents uh, just took a pen and wrote down the date in the baby. Uh, my, uh, when my cousin, uh, when her son took her his first steps, she took a photo with the camera. Uh, my sister, when, when her son took his first steps, she took a video on her phone. But I want to capture the whole scene. So you know, I hope that we can take a 360 video. So that way, even if my parents and my family aren't there to experience it in person, they can feel like they're right there with us. VR is the next platform, where anyone can create and experience anything that they want. Right now, VR is still mostly used for games and entertainment. But that's quickly evolving, and one day you're going to be able to put on a headset, and that's going to change the way that you live and work and communicate. So, you know, imagine being able to sit in front of a campfire and hang out with your friends anytime you want, or be able to uh, watch a, a movie in a private theater uh, with your friends anytime you want. Imagine holding a group meeting or event uh, anywhere in the world that you want. All of these things are going to be possible. And that's why Facebook is investing so much early on in virtual reality. So we can help to deliver these kinds of new social experiences. VR is going to be the most social platform. Now, that's also why we've worked with Samsung to deliver Gear VR. Gear VR is by far the best mobile VR experience. And that's because it combines uh, the best hardware from Samsung, with the best VR software uh, from Facebook with Oculus. Samsung is the only company in the world that can deliver at scale uh, the low persistence OLED screens that are required uh, to give a good, comfortable VR experience. And that's because these OLED screens are the only screens uh, that can update uh, faster than your eye. No other screen and display or company can deliver this experience. Samsung is the leader in designing and shipping hardware like the Gear VR quickly and affordably. And of course, we've, we've used Oculus uh, software to deliver other aspects of high quality VR like head tracking, uh, really fast rendering, 360 sound, and of course, a whole ecosystem of apps and content through the Oculus Store. Together, this is by far the best mobile VR experience that you can get. Now, we've also worked with Samsung to make Gear VR affordable. Last summer, Jay Lee and I went for a walk, and we talked about how we can bring this experience to the most people possible. And after that, we decided to target a $99 price. And we worked hard to find the hardware to make this possible. And, you know, the results are in, and it's already paying off. Because this year, millions of people will get their hands on a Gear VR. There are already more than 200 games and apps available for Gear VR in the Oculus Store. And here's a new stat for you. More than 1 million hours of 
of video have already been watched in Gear of the Art. So we've, all, we've only just started to explore uh, what's possible with video in VR. And as we work with Samsung uh, to build this experience uh, for, for Gear of the Art, we're also working to push the whole state of the technology forward. So, you know, over the last year, we've been working to make Facebook uh, the best platform for 360 videos. And video is already some of the most engaging content uh, that you'll see online. There are already, every day, uh, more than 100 million hours of video content are watched on Facebook. But 360 videos are even more immersive. You know, because you weren't just watching passively. You feel like you're actually there. You're actually surfing in Tahiti, or flying with the Blue Angels, or exploring the surface of Mars. <coughs> Our community already loves 360 videos. And every day, already, more than uh, a million people are watching 360 videos on Facebook. More than 20,000 of them have been uploaded, and hundreds of new ones are uploaded every day. But it's still really early for 360 videos. And we're only a few years into experiencing this kind of high quality 360 content. But one day soon, all of us are going to have the power to broadcast live uh, what we're doing whenever we want, so that way our friends and families and the people we care about can experience it as if they're right there with us. But of course to get there, we're going to have to solve a lot of really complex technology and engineering challenges. An example of an important breakthrough uh, we call dynamic streaming for VR video. The idea is that instead of delivering the whole video in a high resolution, we just focus on the part that you're looking at. And this allows us to uh, deliver the video with a much higher uh, resolution and quality, about 4x, while also reducing the overall bandwidth consumed uh, for streaming the video by about 4x. So this is just one example of how Facebook is driving all this VR software forward. And I'm excited to announce uh, that will bring all of this technology to Gear VR in the next few weeks. So there are lots of other challenges that we need to do to uh, solve to create great VR experiences. And Facebook, uh, with Oculus, are committed to this for the long term. We've recently created new teams at Facebook to build the next generation of social apps in VR. And there are hundreds of incredible uh, content titles coming to the Oculus Store this year including Minecraft. And since the Oculus team joined Facebook, we've put hundreds of our best engineers on this to make much faster progress than the industry would have otherwise. So we're committed to building the best VR experiences in the world. And we're excited to be focused on, on building uh, this next important computing platform that has the potential to change all of our lives and to be doing it with sense. The best is still to come, and we are proud to be working together on this. Thank you, and now here's DJ Code. Inspiration and innovation. 